Hi everyone, my name is Pavel and I am VFX artist working in games. I also do a lot of uh, personal projects and those are special effects with use of Houdini and Unreal Engine. I also do breakdowns of my special effects on my art station and the YouTube channel as well. Recently I've been doing a lot of projectiles and in this video I wanted to show you actually some of the melee attacks and I've created a combo which consists of simple melee attack, a buff and um, a special attack. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Most of the time for my personal project I work using Unreal Engine and also I like to add some of the Houdini simulation uh, to it. So in this video I would like to walk you through how I've created these effects and share with you some ideas and my thinking behind it. Um, the task I gave myself was to develop a single melee attack, a buff and a special attack uh, for this character, something that would fit into hack and slash or RPG uh, fantasy game. As a first step I like to explore the skeleton that I'll be working with um, so I can create sockets uh, basically um, to attach my particle systems to uh, during the animation. So for this character I've created this ball socket and I've located it in the center of this um, weapon. As a next step I like to create the whole sequence before I start making uh, special effects. So um, Unreal Engine got this amazing tool called Montage and it allows you to chain few animations together into one single sequence. So as you can see in this part um, I'm just scrolling through and I've added a default attack here then it goes to raw swing start swing and swing end essentially and then it goes back to the idle. I've also placed a couple particle systems and I timed them um, to the animation so as you can see the character is about to swing his weapon and I wanted the uh, trails of sparks to start at this time and I also put them into the uh, ball socket uh, which I showed you before. Uh, we'll discuss all those particle systems and I'll show you later in this video. Um, the same thing I've done to the buff, however I did attach it to a different socket. Once I'm happy with the animation setup I like to take a break uh, from Unreal Engine and I usually go to uh, Photoshop and I've created some textures for the um, attack but this time I just went to the Houdini and I've created this uh, fracture sequence for the final attack. As the character smashes his maze to the ground I thought it would be cool if the ground would break into pieces. Also I think it would add a bit more details and made the attack a bit more epic and just pleasant to look at. The rigid body setup is relatively simple. Um, I have detailed tutorial on the subject how to do a similar setup uh, on my YouTube channel. Basically you create a rigid body simulation in Houdini and you export it um, as an animation to Unreal Engine. Okay so now I've got animation sequence ready and the ground fracture as well. I just went and I've created simple simple blueprint so basically when you press a B button on your keyboard it does the the whole sequence, um, this one montage I showed before. And I want to talk about first this um, effect, which is a weapon swing. So basically what it is, is the four particle systems. The first one is the trail that uh, travels across the plane, uh, which I've made in uh, 3ds Max. Basically what I've done, I've imported the character animation and I traced um, this plane basically and created, created a cross plane so it's visible from all the angles. And as you can see it's a soft texture that goes from one point, one end to another. The second particle system is the hard edge 
uh, trail basically and it's there to just create this nicer bloom um, when the maze is traveling and that it's a hit effect it doesn't necessarily need to be there I don't I'd imagine you can basically separate it and implement it in in a game when the weapon actually hits the object but I think it adds um, nice hit effect to the character and also grabs player attention just to let him know that he's about to get hit and the la last one is a simple lens flare basically to uh, create nice bloom um, surrounding the uh, the hit, uh, hit effect and actually the weapon swing itself Another effect that it's attached actually to the weapon socket uh, using montage uh, sequence is this effect and what it does it spawns particle systems um, for the duration of the swing so as you can see uh, mm. these are the simple sparks um, I've got the fire as well which serves the purpose of being a larger sparks but with a bit more um, texture definition and shape as well um, you can see I've got this hit effect as well that it's coming off the um, a mace, so it seems like it's uh, it's glowing, and also I've got a uh, lens flare there just to create this flash effect. Okay, so after the weapon swing, we've got this uh, bath effect, and it's there to show the player that he's about to get hit with this powerful attack. As you can see, the the whole character glows and it spawns a bunch of um, sparks and this uh, fire effect as well. So it's a simple system and um, I'm reusing my sparks. I've got this fire effect and that is being spawned in the center of character head. So those are basically two emitters. I'm not using light and I'm not using those two. I just duplicated the uh, previous system that I've got for the weapon swing and disabled those. And also I just changed a couple parameters on uh, the dust and the fire. Okay, so now he have his weapon swing. He buff himself. And now it's time for his special attack, which is this ground fracture with a, a glowing spikes coming off the ground, basically. Um, so what I've done, I've imported the uh, the fracture, and I'm timed it in the blueprint, which I'm going to show you later. Uh, but I've created this um, effect, and it, it's fairly simple. It's just a a simple plane with some geometry. And what I'm doing actually, I'm, I'm masking this area and I'm moving the texture with the noise on top of it and intensity as well over time. So what's happening is starting from nothing. As you can see, the texture animates and it's mo moving towards the, the, the target. Oh, it's just moving forward really. And you control the intensity of it in the blueprint using timeline. And I also got uh, sparks as well, and basically they just happening when those spikes are actually coming um, from the ground. It's just there to add details to the effect overall. I want to mention as well about this uh, those effect on his uh, weapon when he does this his bath and now he swing his weapon. Uh, so right before his final attack. There are sparks and there's a fire and the character glow itself just before the um, final attack and all those particle systems I've used for the weapon swing and I've just timed them and attached them uh, using the, the montage that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Most of the characters I'm using across all my VFX I'm actually either uh, buying them from Unreal Marketplace or just elsewhere and to be honest I've got this pack from a uh, bit gem company and they make those amazing 
um, hand painted style um, characters which I find them very useful especially for stylized um, effects that I'm making um, just want to talk briefly about this material for the character to make um, that makes him glow um, I've got this uh, Fresnel or Fresnel power uh, that I've made in the material and it's uh, basically a parameter that I'm tweaking um, inside of blueprint using timeline uh, which I'm gonna show you next and basically the default value is 0.3 which just makes the character glow just a bit uh, and I'm increasing the, especially during his uh, bath sequence I've also uh, masked, masked out the, uh, the mace, his weapon and I made it glow and animate over time using a simple noise texture okay and finally I want to show you the uh, blueprint I've made for this character um, so basically when you press a B button it resets the animation back to zero so it always starts from the beginning um, and it starts playing the montage as well the whole sequence of the animations after slight delay there's a maze slash effect that it's happening in place just to indicate he's about to swing his weapon and then it goes to the uh, timeline and actually the timeline does the heavy lift lifting so basically what it does you can see that I'm tweaking a bunch of parameters um, on for the character material and also for the other materials as well and I'm increasing them uh, over time and just manipulating them uh, through the timeline so in timeline what you can do simply is that you add um, a flow track vector or event track it depends what you really need and you've got this ability to um, manipulate your parameters over time so as you can see here for example um, I can tweak the opacity so it goes from 0 to uh, 1 across 8 seconds mm -hmm. same with the noise power um, and also you can add those nice animation curves to make the effect a bit more snappy and a little bit more suitable for what you're trying to um, achieve so that's the whole breakdown of this effect i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you find it something useful there and maybe it will inspire you to make your own effect and implement some of the techniques i use uh, in your effect i would love to see them so if you make something uh, please let me know, tweet at me, or maybe send me a message on ArtStation. Uh, I also want to thank you, Stylized Station, for allowing me to actually create a breakdown for you guys, because uh, I just I hope there will be uh, more VFX artists in the industry in the future. <laughs>